بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو انادر ویڈیو آن اوریکل ایپ ایکس اینڈ دس ٹائم دس ویڈیو آلریڈی واز ریکارڈڈ اف یو سی دس واز دا نومبر فار دا لوکل کمیونٹی اینڈ اٹ واز ریکارڈڈ ان اردو اور ہندی الحمد للہ وی ہیڈ اے ویری گڈ کمیونٹی اوور دیئر اف آئی ایم ناٹ رنگ اراؤنڈ 37 to 40 uh, members attended the session but it was in Urdu or Hindi this was mainly for the local community but I received multiple requirements that we need an English version or explanation of the same as well so first let me normally when you develop an Oracle application Oracle Apex uh, based application and if there is no internet you can't use it right is it on mobile uh, mobile or is it on desktop if there is no internet you can't save you can't do anything right okay now in pwa we have functionality to uh, have uh, signed in that is um, let's say for example uh, once you will enable it you have certain days for 30 days it will remain or it will keep your username and password on your device or on in your cookies or in your browser so that means uh, authentication issue resolved for certain days you don't need to log in again there is a separate video on this functionality uh, which i will share the links in uh, in the description now uh, mr rao from multan has developed one java script application or functionality to uh, save our data in the local uh, so this is our application in uh, oracle cloud and uh, it is very simple just one page not even there is no page so if i will show you the home page what it has there is just simple uh, entry screen with columns and that uh, our table is there in the database and if you see here let me show you this is my authentication so if you see here it is it is saying remember me not remember username right so there's this is the difference remember me means it will remember username and password so here you will enter the username salary department and then see uh, users were saving it users were testing it uh, both online offline see offline they did transaction and all those things now there are this is just a detail so once you will submit if internet is there directly it will save to the table if internet is not there it is disconnected then it will move to let me show you f12 <clears throat> it will come to the indexed tb here right this is my our indexed tb and form it will come here if there is no internet connectivity and this index db it has around capacity of half of your uh, size availability on your local hard disk so just imagine right so all other dbs they have here you have a good enough uh, space over there so what it will do once you will submit there is no connectivity it will keep adding in this so once the connectivity is established it will sync to the uh, table or database uh, in the cloud or where where wherever you, wherever it is right using this form so let us try i will show you the code and code is there in our website as well let me show you uh, so you can come to the erpstuff.com and move down you have apex okay wait a moment and if you see here erp stuff pwa offline app you can click here you will get details 
you have the code in this uh, format as well as well as you can download and this sample application it will also be there in this raw file in the zip file all are there these uh, this code is also there sample application is there enjoy with this code okay now for example if i am here and uh, I want to do some entry. Uh, let me say ERP SD stuff online. Let me say ERP SD stuff one, right? So this is my online entry and it is 5000. See in index DB, nothing is there, right? No data came it came down ERP stuff let me show you see okay now what I will do I will disconnect the internet even I can disconnect the Wi-Fi or whatever but uh, let us do from here you can go to no throttling right if you come here and you say no throttling, right? Uh, uh, offline, sorry. See, one error has occurred, you have lost connection, okay? So, there is no connection now. Here, there is no connection. Let's see refresh. Okay, I have just refreshed it and let me go to uh, application, right? Nothing is there, okay? Service worker. Uh, remember the service server if you see it is offline right at the moment it is offline and let me show you here now I am going to enter now this is offline right I'm not connected with the internet and still it is showing this data because everything is cached I will show you where you will do this setting number two now this is offline huh? uh, here I will say 2500 and this time department I'm going to put operations and to index db right so what will happen now let me come here and refresh see this data is there as you see here department 40 uh, id 5 name is equal to this and salary is equal to this okay still nothing is there in our database nothing moved there so if you want to see it there, I let me show you. What was the name? I think M. This is my M table, right? So let me come here, M, and this is my table data. So let me search on name because I was saying like. ERP SDU stuff. One was already there, right? Two I have pending. See, ERP stuff one is. Now let me make it online and then it should sync this data with the uh, table, right? So I can come here and to offline submitted data, right? So data submitted. Now let me show you here. It is one, right? Now, two is also there. Okay. Now, let us move back how it was developed. So, if you see here, this is the region, just a region. It says the processes. And now, and let me come from the button itself. In the button, PWA, this is JavaScript, right? It will check if it is online, offline status, both are there. Save data to index DB, right? Because there is a if condition over there, right? Save data to the index DB. And then this function is be being called, right? Over here, as and when required, or you can change the names, whatever. So it will save and 
that's it rest you can keep as it is the only thing is where these column names are there you will have to change right so it will create this json format so this is first this code is already there you can just uh, find over there the link i have shared and it will be there under the video as well submit nothing is there in this much code over here it's at least now coming to process process there are two one is this insert insertion and here just it will take the value from these and it will insert to the table the second one is this is if you are online but let me show you see submit button this one it is same code if you see here it is being called with this name from the javascript so this is for offline here it is not getting submitted it will be submitted from there okay now where is the other quote up to this i think it is clear right this is just interactive report which i was just showing you the data now move back to shared components files in here we have uploaded you can say or it, these files are already there i'm just showing you two files app.js and sw.js so let me first go to app.js what is there this here you are defining the listener to check if it is online or offline and what to do right see these messages are there you are back online if it is you can change these uh, messages alert success okay function right submit index data because if you see here this is a function right control c right and here it is being called and this is upload offline form data right now here you can uh, further improve your error messages if you want like so this is our app.js right let me go back cancel and let me show you now sw right here we have multiple listeners install activate fetch right so if you see here uh, uh, then you have to check this one if you see there i had two pages one is login page another one is home page so what uh, this uh, pwa will do it will take these uh, tables uh, sorry of uh, uh, forms it will save them in cache so next time even if internet is not there still images i am able to open because uh, if i from where it is coming it is in the cache right otherwise it will not show anything and if this functionality is not enabled you will just get uh, no connection right but here you are not getting no connection or anything offline see it is lost right now there is no connection but still i am able to see this home, whole page from this where this data is coming this is stored due to these lines see two pages you can have more pages up to you see two pages are given login and home because our uh, our page is just developed on home page nothing else is there right and then you can further check if, if you any changes you need it and i think that's it this code is already there with you no need to go into further detail these are just listeners you can play with these one so in to just to conclude 
app.js, sw.js, and these two um, uh, mi min files will be automatically created when you will upload or create these uh, JS files, right? How to create JS file? You can just, if you want to just copy paste, you can just click here. You will say, let's say for example, js dot, no, no, what, app dot js. Right? You can drag or you can just create and it will open a window. Let me create. Right? So it's a blank. You can paste over here or you can upload files from there. And then, you have to take this uh, path, right? This reference, this reference. So let me show you how uh, Rauf added this on the home page. Let me go there. Okay. Application. Sorry, 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 sorry. Um, here. Here. Right? File URL. Which one? App, a double P app. You just copy from there and paste over here. That's it. right so this way you can uh, use this uh, application as an offline and then once your internet is back it will be uh, synced with your table in your database no matter it is on on premises or it is on cloud or wherever but from where you had logged in and please note that and from where it is enabled, there's another video, but let me quickly show you. This is progressive web app, and this is, these both options are enabled. There are uh, some other settings as well to uh, remember the login. For that, I will share the video link, and you can just go through. You will learn from there. Rest, nothing is there in this. See, this one. Here, this, uh, this is the for the SW. On the page we entered app.js. So this is on progressive web app. I forgot to share this link. So both links are used here. Upload it there and then you have to use these two links here. And how to get that links? You can take from the um, shared components. So I will go to shared components and static files. Here, from here, you have to just copy from here. There are two files one app and one is SW. Where you want, it's okay because end of the day, they are just JS files, right? So, please try share your feedback, comments, and uh, keep visiting us to see more videos on different subjects. Thank you very much, and Allah Hafiz.